Hey guys, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time eBay seller here in Australia. Now, over the weekend, we moved all my unlisted stock that was at home in my home garage over to the storage units. And it's Monday morning and it's the first time I've come in here and actually opened up all the storage units at the same time to see exactly what I've got. And oh wow, <laughs> do I have some work ahead of me. Now, when I left the units on Saturday afternoon, the boys were still coming back with one more load. So this is what it looks like after everything has been bought across. And honestly, while it's packed like this, I don't even know where to start. I need to get these bookshelves into some kind of order so that I can start putting the unlisted stock into alphabetical order so I know exactly what I've got here to list. Now, one thing that I'm regretting that we didn't do on Saturday was set the bookcases up first. So the boys have just moved them all in here and then put the death pile here. But I've got no room to actually start in here. What we should have done was lined the three walls with bookshelves so that I could have had some walkway in between to set all these up. But for me to physically move these boxes now all out maybe into this corridor, for me to put bookcases behind it, would be a massive job for me physically and I'm just not sure I'm cut out for that this week. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is these two big bookcases here, one of them needs to be fixed up a little bit, but I'm going to move those two bookcases into here and I want them to go along these back walls and that's going to be for more of this listed inventory. So that's going to make up a little bit of room to get those two bookcases out. Okay, that didn't actually take me too long and it wasn't nearly as hard as I envisaged. So I was able to put the shelves 
in here running all along the back wall as you can see over there plus I've got them running along this wall and I've got like a, a wall of them that'll go down along here along the roller door now what I'm envisaging is a couple of trestle tables set up all the time in the middle of this room so that I can be kind of working on it. So this is going to be the death pile, the sorting room, the getting ready to list room. This is going to be the work in progress room and I'm actually quite excited about it and I think it's going to work well once all the boxes are cleared. <laughs> Now, if you remember in the old death pile room, I was using the tubs like these black tubs to put the price comped books in. But now that I've got this shelf, I think this whole row here, these three shelves are going to be for books that have been price comped. So now the books that I've got in these tubs that were already price comped, I'm, they're going to be the first ones that I stack onto these shelves because these are the ones that are ready to go to get photographing. Okay, so I've labeled these shelves from $12 to $26. So each time that I'm doing my price comping of my books, because I do everything in batches. So when I'm sitting here for like an hour price comping, I'm going to have some shelves to put those books on so that when it comes to doing photography, I've already got a stack of books that are waiting and ready to go. Oh guys, look at this. I've actually made a pathway and I feel like there's some organization to it. <laughs> some, I say some. Now this table that I've put here, this is the next look, lot of books that I want to be price comping and getting listed. So I've set all these books aside onto the table because these are the books that I'm going to be working with straight away. Um, I've also set some sets up over here. Now these are all bundles of books that I'm going to list. So they just need photographing. They don't need any price comping because I'll do that when I'm listing them. And these ones are all individuals, so need to be price comped to either be put away onto the shelves. There's some books in this lot that I think are going to be worth more money. So my shelves only go to $26 here. So I will have to set some aside um, with different pricings because I'm pretty sure there's some books in this lot that are going to be priced over the $26. I've actually got some pretty cool books in this lot. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty keen to price some of these. Now, as you can see, what I've done here is I've lined it all around with these bookcases and I've just put all the books in the middle at the moment. I can kind of walk around it. I've left enough room, even though there's some bags on the floor there. Once those bags are picked up, I have left it so that I can actually walk around, even though it's a bit of a tight fit. <laughs> 
Now, the bookshelves have been set up and I'm going to label them A to Z. And that's going to be mainly for the fiction. And then I'm going to have a few shelves that will just be for like separate books like cooking and gardening and miscellaneous type books. So I'm actually feeling quite positive about this space. When I was in the other unit down here, I just didn't have enough room to be working inside it as well as storing everything. But I really feel like if I can kind of keep like half to two thirds of this unit here for storing books and building sets and the unlisted kind of books that I'm getting in halls, then have this area here to work on the books that are in the middle of got to be price comped, the books that are already price comped, sets of books that are ready and waiting for me to photograph. I just feel like I'm going to be able to come in here and be so much more productive because now there's more of a system to the death pile. Now I'm not actually going to finish emptying all those boxes today. That is a mammoth job <laughs> and I'm not up for it today. I'm still buggered after the weekend and I'm tired just from moving all that around that I did this morning. I've still got to pick and pack my orders, which I'm going to do now for the weekend. And then I'm going to head home and get some listing done and do some computer work and just some catch up because I haven't been on the computer for the last few days and I know there's work sitting at home for me and bundles waiting for me to list. Now I've just finished picking my weekend orders and so I thought I'd show you some what's old. Okay, I sold six Danielle Steelbooks to the one lady and she paid $45. And I sold three Belinda Alexander books to one lady who has paid $41. Now, this was a random mix of individual books that one person bought, eight books, and she's paid $142 for these eight books. Now, this was a random set of four books purchased by the one lady. So we've got a book on retro a little golden book, which is a little humor book, Breaking Bad Habits in Dogs, and Recipes for Canine Cuisine. Now she has paid $50 for the four of those books. The set of four Cassandra Clare sold for $30, and the set of three House of Night novels sold for $35. I've got seven books here by Elizabeth George. I had $60 on them, but I took an offer for 50. These two bundles of Fiona Macintosh are going to the same lady. They've sold for $54. And the box set of Judy Nunn has sold for $40. This two back of knitting books sold for $30. This four pack of Michelle Bridges sold for $35. Now these two Rachel treasure books have sold for $34. Two lots of Nora Roberts sold for $20 and two lots of Vince Flynn have also sold for $20. Now Fleur McDonald has sold for $21.50 and these vintage Alfred Hitchcock, there's 21 of them I think, they have sold for $139. Now you can see they're in really poor old condition but $139, I'll take it. Now these are all the individual books that sold this weekend. So you can see there's quite a mix here between country rooms, some cooking, some more cooking, I even sold a Christmas cookbook. <laughs> Low carb, we've got some fiction. These two are a couple of religious books. Stephen King, Rachel Johns, Stalker, James Herbert, Nora Roberts, another cookbook, another Bible, Emotional Healing, this one is um, self-help, dyslexia, hyperactivity in children, Constance Hall, taking care of yourself and your family. That one's quite a regular seller for me. I see I picked up a lot of those for free. There's all different editions, but they do sell quite easily. Um, we've got a hardcover James Patterson there, Bart Cummings, and just some general fiction here. Up the Duff by Kaz Cook, another regular seller for me. So Bulletproof sold for $30, Food for the Soul sold for $40, Kaz Cook Up the Duff sold for $25, James Herbert sold for $18, The Christmas Book sold for $25, where are we? This Bible, Children's Bible sold for $34.95, The Low Carb Pete Evans has sold for $35, Country Rooms has sold for $19.95, Emotional Healing for $18. And most of the other stuff is probably around the 15, 14, 15, $16 mark. 
So as you can see, I've had a really good weekend of sales. I've made lots of profit on those books and I'm stoked to be sending them all out today. When I first found out that we were gonna to have to move into this new space, bring all these books over, get into a bigger storage unit and just move everything. I was so daunted. I was so stressed. I was so upset. I was crying like a baby. And oh my goodness, the smile on my face now, I actually feel like this is a good thing. This was meant to happen and I feel so much better. Thanks for watching, guys.